How's it going guys? Just a quick PSA for you all. First of all, you're still going to be getting your daily dose of Wi-Fi battles from me. That's not going to change. However, I did make a second channel. On this channel, I'll be covering all Nintendo games as they come out and similar N Nintendo-esque games as well. For example, we're currently covering Little Kitty Big City and Princess Peach Showtime. If you're interested in seeing me play other games apart from Pokemon, then be sure to go check out the new channel and join me on this new journey. Now with that out of the way, let's get into the video. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're in a battle versus Max in the RU tier. I've dropped down a tier. I want to use some lesser used mons more often and have them actually be able to shine. Let me know who you think is going to win based on the teams you see on screen right now. And please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. With that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Max. So they're going to lead off with Electrode, which is a really good lead for them because I led off with Terrakion. And the reason I led off with Terrakion, who looked really ugly in this game, by the way, the reason I was, I was kind of expecting a Cleavor lead or a Grimmsnarl. So I was just like, I want to hit something really hard, real fast. And I just had to hope they wouldn't leave off with Electrode. But they did, they did, they did. Um, which makes sense. So I'm going to go Sylveon because Sylveon can definitely take any hit this Electrode wants to throw at it. We are specially defensive. Um, so let's see what they do. They more than likely Volt Switch, but I'd rather not risk that. I'm, I'm going to have to go into Sylveon. They go for an Energy Ball. They went straight for the KO on the Terrakion. It's going to do a lot of damage. And that tells me that Specs, because Electro doesn't have the best special attack in the world. I'm fully specially defensive. I should be taking them, like, even better than that. So, what do we do now? Do we go straight for a Hyper Voice? I'm looking at their team, and I'm thinking... I don't know what they're doing here. Let's go for a Hyper Voice and find out. So they withdraw the Electrode. They don't Volt Switch, which tells me they are choice specced. Let's see what they go into. Cleavor, the former Alpha. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. We go for a Hyper Voice. That's definitely going to do over half, which is great. So do I stay in and tank a Stone Axe, go for another Hyper Voice, or do I switch out? I'm leaning towards the Terrakion. I think Terrakion is our best answer here because if we get Terrakion in, we get a free Stone Edge off, which is going to hurt everything on their team for either super effective or neutral damage. Even that Porygon 2 is not going to appreciate it. So they go for the Stone Axe, they get them Stealth Rocks up, all that wonderful stuff. And um, that's fine. We can rapid spin them away later because they probably sack off this thing now to a Stone Edge. So I'm going to go for said Stone Edge and hopefully we don't miss and they go for a U turn. But I have a feeling that they will stay in. So they actually withdraw Cleavor. They've realized, you know what? They could rapid spin later. We may as well keep the Cleavor around to get them stealth frogs up. They go Grimmsnarl. How well is Grimms? Nice and shiny. Nice and shiny, by the way. Uh, how well are you going to take Stone Edge from a Choice Band to Rakion? Very well, by the looks of it. So I guess the best thing for me to do here is to just go for another one. Because if they reflect, they'll live. If they don't reflect, they die. They go for the Reflect. Can we hit the Stone Edge? That'd be nice. We do hit the Stone Edge twice in a row. Nearly get the KO, which is amazing. Now they get a free Light Screen off. Um, they probably let this thing go down. But I'm not too fussed about that. To be honest with you, what I want to do is I want to get to... Um, well, I want to get Ferretris in first to Rapid Spin away those Stealth Frogs. That is for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go Ferretris because A, Ferretris Walls the crap out of Grimmsnarl. B, if they go for a Spirit Break, it will red card them out, which could be good. Ferretris actually works out really well against the team, except from the Braviary and the Cyclozar, because they can have Overheat and Heat Wave, respectively. They actually go for a Puncture, so they're not even bothered about the Light Screen. Not even bothered. Probably because our main special attacker, Neuvern, has the Infiltrator ability, which bypasses screens. So that's something to note. Um, I had to have Neuvern. I was originally going to put Flygon on as a special attacker, but... Um, Noivern just worked a lot better, and I've not used Noivern in ages. So Cyclizar comes in. This thing threatens us with an overheat big time, but it's okay. We have the Sylveon in the back. Sylveon can come in and take care of this. So we withdraw our Ferretris. We don't want to stay in and get an overheat to the face. And we do go into Sylveon. Hubba Bubba's going to come in. Hubba Bubba. Hubba Bubba. Do you have Hubba Bubba in your country? Wherever you're from, whoever's watching this right now. Do ya? Do ya, do ya? We have it. It's like a chewing gum, um, like bubble gum. Um, it's meant for blowing bubbles and stuff. I can never do it though. They always popped in my face. <laughs> anyway, they get a shift gear off, which is very worrying. So this thing is going to hit us on the physical side. I say we protect first because they may terror and they may have terror blast steel, which we don't want to have to face. So they do terror. It's a good job we went for the protect. Protecting is always good, even in singles on certain Pokemon, like a wish Pokemon, for example. So they terror 
fire. That is terrifying. That is terrifying. So, Terrifier on the Cyclers are. Go, we go for a Protect. Let's see what they were going to go for. Let's see if they go for the Terror Blast or not. I don't know what I'm doing my hand here. It's just like Chef's Kiss type thing. They go for a Double Edge, which would have definitely stung us. And they went for that because they're not confident Double Edge will kill us. Um, which is definitely fair. They probably have Terror Blast. So, I can't just switch my Ferretris in willy-nilly. Gonna have to be careful here. I think they go for a Double Edge. So, we do go for Ferretris and Red Card them out. Or we can go Zoroark. Zoroark is always an option. They may go for Terra Fire right now, though, predicting the Zoroark to come in. So we do need to be careful here. I think they predict the Zoroark or they predict the Fretress to come in. And they go for the Terra Fire. If we lose Fretress, we lose our rocks. What do we go into? I'm going to have to risk it for a chocolate biscuit and I'm going to go into Fretress, hoping they go for a double edge again and we can red card them out. That would be ideal. They may be thinking, hey, we don't lose anything from going for double edge because if they do switch in the Zoroark, we outspeed in KO. Temper Flare, Double Edge failed. So Temper Flare is boosted in power. That is the first time I've battled Temper Flare and they've actually pulled off like it's meant to be done. Ferretris goes down. Right, we're in a pickle right now. Not really. I mean, yeah, we are. We are in a pickle. Um, Because Gyarados gets taken down by a Double Edge. Sk uh, Shift Gear only boosts one by one stage on the attack, but it boosts speed by two stages, correct? So in theory, we know they've got Double Edge. We should go into Zoroark. Well, they go for if they go for a Temper Flare, it'll KO Zoroark. Because Stealth Rocks are up. So we have to be really careful what we do here. I believe... I believe Gyarados is the way to go. But I'm going to go back into Sylveon. Sylveon's going to have to do it. Because at the end of the day, it's night. But... <laughs> oh, duh. Um, at the end of the day... Hyper Voice is still going to do a decent bit of damage even if he's resisted. We should live this double edge. And if we don't, like we haven't, <laughs> we will get some decent recoil on them. So they'll think twice about double edging again. That was some decent recoil right there. So do we believe Gyarados can live? I believe Gyarados can live personally. I think he can live a uh, double edge, no problem. A plus one? Yeah, should be fine. We do get stones, of course, digging into us. Um, but that's fine. Now we have to go for a waterfall. So I'm going to go for a waterfall. I'm not going to terror just in case the dragon move. They do double edge. We don't live. Plus one. We don't live. Ha. Am I getting swept by a Cyclozar here? I mean, no, because it's going to run out of HP eventually. But we lost. Oh, it's Citrus Berry. It's Citrus Berry. So what do we do? What do we do? I guess we go Zoroark and bait the double edge. I should have done that anyway. Noivern. Who, who, who used to say this thing has normal stab? We only took a little bit of stealth rock damage, though. That's the problem. That is the problem. We could Terra Fairy. Just in case they go for a dragon move. I guess that is our only option, really. So we've got to see if Zoroark can pull this back. So we Terra Fairy just in case they go for a dragon move like Dragon Claw um, on the Noivern. Or, you know, predicting that it's the Zoroark in general. Because of the amount of Stealth Rock damage we took. Uh, if you didn't know, Flying types take more damage from Stealth Rocks, basically. Then you go for the Dragon Claw. We Terra Fairy. That was right. That was the right play. We made the right play. Don't know why I didn't do this sooner. We go for the Hyper Voice. <sighs> nice. Nice. Because they couldn't go for a Double Edge there. They could have gone for a Temple there. But they didn't. They might not have realized we were annoyed there. But their team's Reflect wears off, which is great. Not really. But, well, Terrakion's still around, but we've finally taken care of one of their Pokemon. <laughs> one. Porygon 2 comes in the Sleepy. I like that. That's a good name. That is a good name. So they get a download and attack, which is great. Um, we definitely switch out here into what, though? That's the real question. I'm going to go with the Terrakion switch. I think Terrakion is the good switch here because at the end of the day, it's night, like I've said before. Um, but close combat will hurt everything on the team except from the Braviary. And the Braviary cannot switch in. <laughs> Because if he switches in and we go for a Stone Edge instead, whew, that Braviary is gone. It's gone. So we'll bring Terrakion in real quick. There we go. Terrakion come through. Point Stones do dig in. They go for a Recover, expecting us to attack. Great. We get a free switch in with Terrakion. Now what do we do? The answer is Close Combat or Stone Edge, one of the two. I'm going to go for the CC. So the CC comes through his Bandit. Should take out the Paragon 2. As if they lived on... This is why Terrakions are you and not freaking owe you like it used to be it just doesn't hold up anymore 
Discharge comes through, paralyzes us. It paralyzes us. Of course it paralyzes us. Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it? We go for another close combat, though. That should take out the Porygon, too. We should still outspeed. Yeah, we outspeed, which is great. We go for a close combat, take out the Porygon, too. Now, now, our special attackers don't have much to face them. However, they have Terra, so we don't have to worry about Terra Ice on Electro. So, Neuburn could pull this back. The Grimstar is weakened. The Cleavor is weakened. The Braviary is... <sighs> Braviary at the end of the day. Um, the question is, can we do anything about the Braviary? Braviary of the Distant Pass comes in. Nice and shiny. I love the shiny Braviary. It's so cool. So now we have to go for a close combat. They may set up. They may set up. It's a possibility. They go for the agility. This is four times resisted, by the way. Close combat. Let's see how much damage it does. Not enough. Not enough damage. They get an agility off. The question is... What do we do now? I say we go close combat. I say we go close combat. They go for a psychic. They're faster than everything right now. Thanks to that agility. They're faster than everything. But I have faith that our team, which is two Pokemon left, by the way. I have faith that our team can pull this back. It's up to you, Neuvern. Do your thing. Do your thing. Please let Boom Burst KO. Please let Boom Burst KO. They're life orbs. So we may not even live this incoming psychic. We have to try. We have to try. Braviary, please don't KO us with Psychic right now. Come on, Neuvern. Now, nope. that was a clean KO. Braviary coming through in the end there. What a show. What a show. So, Zoroark, you are our last hope. I don't think you can take a Psychic if Neuvern couldn't. I'm pretty sure you're, you know, more frail. Especially after a second dose of Stealth Rocks. I'm pretty confident here. So I'm going to go for a Shadow Ball. They go for the Psychic. It's probably going to KO us. As it does. And that's going to be the game. So GG Max, that was my first time playing RU in a while. And it was definitely a fun one. It was really cool seeing Pokemon like Hisui and Braviary popping off like it did. Um, so yeah, GG, that was a really fun one. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to. Use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.